And we are back on the WHHI TV Daily News. Joining me now is Wendy Pollitzer, and she is with Low Country Habitat for Humanity. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we have an event coming up that we want to talk about, and it's the Upcycled Art Auction. So give us a little bit of the background of the event, and then we'll kind of get into some of the details. Um, well, we have it. Um, it's going to be March 10th. Uh, COVID kind of has uh, put a hiccup in the in the event from um, from 2021, and we're bringing it back. It will be held at the Technical College of the Low Country in the Student Center um, again, March 10th from 6 to 9 p.m. And we're really excited to be bringing this back. It started in 2014, and we we hosted it every year. Um, like I said, COVID. Um, uh, gave us a hiccup, and in 2021, we did a an online auction. But this year, we will uh, bring back an in-person event, bigger and better than ever before. Well, always so much fun to have those events coming back. That's great. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect from uh, the auction, what they expect, you kind of expect to see, and what they'll be bidding on. Well, we're really excited um, to host Mick Cernica, um, he is with Tidal Creek Haven. He is going to be um, producing some amazing driftwood uh, furniture for us. We have um, Dave Lunen with Evolve Furniture Studio, again, who is going to um, be crafting some custom furniture for us to be sold at live auction, as well as Cassandra Gillens and her beautiful paintings um, describing the Gola and um, American South culture. Okay. Along with almost a hundred other artists wow. in the area who will either be in our live auction or our silent auction. And um, we're excited that Deanna Baldish, I think a lot of people will remember her from years past. She used, she used to own the gallery on Bay Street. We are bringing her back to host the event and she will be our auctioneer. Um, so I think a lot of people who have been here for a while will be excited to come to the event just for her, right. for her presence. She brings an energy um, to an event that's pretty exciting. Yeah, well, and that is an impressive number of artists. There's going to be a lot to see. A lot to see. Um, we, you know, we're, we have a, a, a panel of peers who will be selecting the art that will be um, showcased in the live auction. It's going to be about 15 pieces. So when these artists are submitting their work, they're actually being um, reviewed by their peers to see which will be in the live auction too. So it's um, it's it's an invitation only event. So we're we're excited that a lot of people are coming on board to support our great organization. Absolutely. So tell us how we get tickets. And of course, the proceeds are going to Habitat for Humanity and some of the things you might be doing with those proceeds. Um, so tickets are $50 per person. And you can find those tickets on our website at www.lowcountryhabitat.org. Um, you know, we're building five houses currently. This money is, yeah. is truly going to people in our community in Northern Beaufort County um, to build safe and affordable housing for them in, in, in a situation where they otherwise might not be able to afford living in this great community that we live in. Right. And so um, you mentioned the tickets are $50. How do the people get tickets? Do they go to your website? Yeah, they go to our website. We will be um, advertising on social media as well. Um, again, the, the, the website is www.lowcountryhabitat.org. Um, please like us on Facebook. Uh, we're Low Country Habitat for Humanity. And we will be advertising in some local, um, local publications here uh, throughout the month. It'll be heavily advertised. Well, thank you so much, Wendy, for being here to share about this great event, and congratulations that it's back in person. Hope it goes wonderfully well for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yes. Thanks to everyone on the show today for their insights and contributions. Thanks to my wardrobe sponsor, SM Bradford Company, and Currents for today's look. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible, and of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.